So, um, David takes a census and God speaks to David's prophet Gad. This is all in verse 2 Chronicles, 1 Chronicles 21, 7 onwards. God was pleased and he struck Israel. And he says to David, choose one of three punishments. So David chooses that um, three days of the sword of the Lord, pestilence upon the land, and um, David calls out for mercy. 70,000 men were slain by the angel. And God sent the angel to Jerusalem to destroy it. There is no temple in Jerusalem at this point. And in fact, I don't think Jerusalem was the capital. I think Hebron was the capital at this point. Maybe wrong. Um, but when he was about to destroy it, the Lord saw and he repented of the evil and said to the destroying angel, It is enough. Slay your hand. Stay your hand. The angel of the Lord was standing on the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. Think about this. John the Baptist's testimony of Jesus. He was baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor. Okay, And the angel here, which is executing the wrath of God, is standing on the threshing floor of one of the Jebusites. David lifted his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord standing between earth and heaven. And in his hand a drawn sword stretched out over Jerusalem. And they begged for God's mercy. Then the angel of the Lord commanded Gad to say to David. So the prophet is the key, uh, key factor here. The prophet is the one who came to David telling to him that there was going to be judgment upon the land. Now the prophet, having had the angelic visitation, comes to David to say that David should go up and raise an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Orn and the Jebusite. This is repeated, that's the second time it's repeated. So David went up at God's word, which he had spoken in the name of the Lord. Now Ornan was threshing wheat. So while the angel of the Lord was executing judgment over the land and 70,000 men had died under this judgment, Ornan is threshing wheat. He turned and saw the angel and his four sons who were with him hid themselves. Well, I would. This angel's just wiped out 70,000 men. <laughs> gonna, gonna scarper, quick. What the heck is down? <laughs> what the heck is down here on the threshing floor? Lads, <laughs> run for it. Quick, hide behind the bales of hay. <laughs> um, David came to Ornan. Ornan looked and saw David and went forward from the threshing floor. What is that, number four? Is that the fourth time? One, two, three, four time. There's obedience to David, his face to the ground. David said to Ornan, give me the sight of the threshing floor. Number five. Five times it's been mentioned so far. Look, the, the word of God is revealing a truth to us here. A very important one. That I may build an altar to the Lord. Give it to me at its full price, that the plague may be averted. Goes on. Um, David paid Ornan 600 shekels of gold for the site. And there David built an altar to the Lord and presented burnt offerings and peace, shalom offerings, and called upon the Lord. Now, he's on the threshing floor. God answered David with fire from heaven. That's the first time in the Bible that fire falls from heaven on this altar at the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. Okay. Then the Lord commanded the angel and he put his sword back into his sheath. So not only does judgment turn into mercy, but also God sends his fire upon the threshing floor to consume the burnt offering and to consume the shalom offering. Okay. Look at what's going on. Really look at what's going on here. More to come in the next video. Fiat voluntas tua.